morning everybody so um, I wanted to discuss something quick this morning uh, regarding the uh, power hookup you see uh, I wanted to explain how my miners are set up and what I have is for example this miner over here an S7 is connected is powered by that PSU EVGA 1600 watt and is directly plugged into a um, 120 volt 20 amp breaker the one the two next to it are actually the PSUs are plugged into a power distribution bar and two of them as you can see are at 9.6 amps the 10 amps is for the other side of that PDU so each PDU has two breakers uh, set to 12 amps each so and that PDU is hooked up to an outlet that is uh, 240 30 amp breaker and that outlet is, is different than the other ones the, the plug for that PDU sorry for a 30 amp 240 volt is different it has three prongs and it's twist lock so if I pull on that I can't pull it out it's locked I have to twist it and pull it out so it's safe to use I highly recommend going with that setup so from here it goes through to my panel so that's my main breaker it's 100 amp and I got a 30 amp here and a 30 amp here those are the uh, two um, uh, big uh, the the outlets for the two PDUs I have so it's 30 amp 240 so uh, and I have a nice fan over here just cooling it because I had the main breaker tripped three times this holiday it got too hot yeah I know now so you see how it's set up and uh, I have for example the uh, EVGA 1300 it's a C13 to C14 plug and uh, the EVGA 19, uh, 1600 uses a C19 to C19 plug so when you're getting a uh, EVGA 1600 and you're going to use a PDU make sure to get the C19 to C19 plug uh, uh, power cord sorry uh, when it comes to whether uh, EVGA is better than the um, uh, Bitmain uh, PSU, um, I haven't tried the Bitmain PSU. Um, I looked at the specifications. I think it's pretty good, uh, comparable to the EVGA, but the EVGA 1600 actually gives you the ability to plug it into a 120 volt outlet while the uh, the Bitmain PSU, you only ha have the ability to plug it into 220 volt or 240. Uh, they designed it that way so you can, you know, use less current. It's a good idea for uh, big warehouse mining operations. Um, I, I would actually consider them for uh, later, but for now I'm using these so I can have the flexibility. Uh, if you're mining at home, I highly recommend the EVGA, not the Bitmain. Uh, that way, if you need to make some changes, you have you either have, can connect it to a 120 or a 240. Um, now, I've spoken to some people to regarding you know hooking up your miners to directly to a router or through a switch. Well, it really depends how many miners you have. The more miners you, you got, you really need a switch. Um, I've you know I got my, two switches actually, one over here and one in, in over there hanged up on the wall that one is connected to that switch and then to the uh, Apple router and from that to the main uh, ISP router or modem actually uh, you can connect switches to each other it's not an issue uh, if you're getting a hub it's less efficient but uh, uh, you know if you get a Netgear 16 or 24 switch that's pretty good it's damn good and I have that actually plugged into sorry to the top here PDU so it's pretty nice I don't need to worry about that and it pulls one amp max if all the ports are plugged uh, are, are used 
So, uh, and it's pretty decent. Uh, I haven't had the time to get a rack to host the other ones uh, soon. I'll probably get a small rack. I don't like having them on the floor. Uh, finally, I still have uh, two S7s and uh, two, uh, three S5s. The S5s, uh, somebody promised to buy them. But uh, yeah, I'm waiting on that this week. And uh, for the S7s, I would consider selling one or two for uh, 2,800, 2,600 max. Uh, that's the lowest I would go. But yeah, if you're interested, let me know. Uh, either way, I'm gonna use them anyway later if uh, nobody buys them uh, soon. So that's all. You yeah, have a good day.